Check this out. It's called Futurecast. It's 4K TV coming from a broadcast signal. And we'll talk about that next. Hey, everybody. Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine. And uh, uh, check this out. We've got a nice big LG TV right behind me. And it's, it's actually broadcasting 4K. And what's happening is it's coming from a tower just a few miles away from here. It's like 3 in the morning. And, of course, they had to do that at 3 in the morning because, you know, you can't just turn off a TV signal for us to, to test out and geek out from things. But the whole thing, the whole idea is that they're showing a concept of what's called ATSC 3.0 and, of course, Futurecast, which is a physical layer on top of ATSC 3.0. It can do more than just 4K TV uh, through a regular antenna. Now, you, you see the antenna right here. It, it, it looks a little bit bigger than, than maybe a, a TV antenna that you have at your house. But this is just a concept at this point in time showing us that there is a possibility that in the next few years we could be using ATSC 3.0. We could be using Futurecast and getting your signal like this to your TV, wherever your CBS, your NBC, your ABC, your Fox stations are. We at um, Zenith LG and Gates Air are intimately involved with the what's called the ATSC 3.0 process. Uh, the idea to come away with the next gen next generation broadcast uh, television uh, system. Um, we are not trying to do an end run on the ATSC uh, process. Um, we are one of a number of proponents who have put a physical layer into the system. Uh, we have been fortunate enough to be able to work and develop our system. We think that it has some real benefits uh, over uh, uh, other systems, although many systems are paper systems at the moment. Uh, today, um, the, the uh, physical layer group is kind of looking at parts or technologies for various parts of the physical layer from various proponents and trying to merge all that together and uh, optimize along that line. My personal opinion is that that's not the way to optimize. The way to optimize is get some pieces all together and make them play together so that the interaction between the various blocks play well together. And that's what we've tried to do. Futurecast's physical layer adds a new level to terrestrial TV. Currently using the MPEG-2 standard, ATSC 1.0 is about 20 years out of date. ATSC 3.0 utilizes an IP multicast structure, so you can not only be able to send TV signal to a mobile device, but also have a multi-video angle experience, or even send packets of video information to the TV for uninterrupted viewing of a TV show. Further, with a simple tower to repeater structure, signal can get into even the most shielded of structures, like an office building. Now, like I said, it's not going to be out anytime soon. It's a, it's a concept. And this is just one physical layer out of a few that are trying to get into the space, trying to get the standard set on here. Now, there's, there's a lot more that can happen with this because there's a lot of other uh, factors in play here, including the ability uh, it's, it uses IP to attach itself. So it basically sends and receives via IP signals. Of course, catch, captures the video using the over-the-air signal. Now, what that can mean is that your TV can become more than just watching uh, the Fox, watching NBC, watching CBS and, and ABC or, or any of the other ones. Imagine watching a baseball game and saying, I don't like that angle. You press a button and all of a sudden you got another angle. It's watching a baseball game and saying, I want to get the stats of this player. You hit a button, you get stats of this player. Now you're saying, well, I got the internet for that. That's not a big deal. I can do that with this. But now you can do it over the air. Think of it this way. This is another exciting way. Imagine a pay-per-view event that you don't need to have a, uh, a satellite dish. You don't need to have cable but you can still get that pay-per-view channel. It's a possibility with Futurecast. And there's so much more. There you go. This is 4K TV using the ATSC standard and Futurecast as a physical layer on top of it. We're going to learn a little bit more as we go. 
but you know you, you could be watching over the air TV and, and finally cut your cable. Jeffrey Powers here. Thanks a lot for watching.